Hello. Hello. My good God. Right, the third in the trilogy of games I've got time for today, or rather haven't got time for, based upon how shit they are. This is called Another Crab's Treasure. Oh, my fucking God. New game. Just get into it. I am so disheartened with some of the shit I've had to play today. Oh, here we go. What word comes to mind when you think of the earth? For some, that word might be Marcy beautiful. Pan. Others might say the world is hateful or evil or unstable or full of shit. But above all else, the word that best describes our world is resilient. Against the odds, time and time again, <clears throat> creatures adapt to make the most of their given environment. Some learn to feed on others, stealing their vitality for their own. Some become scavengers, living off what strangers leave behind. And others still, as we will soon see, would prefer to be simply left alone. Please open up. Oh, uh, you're not a bird. Sir, are you the owner of this residence? You mean my shell? Uh, yeah, it's mine. Do you like it? I represent the Royal Duchy of Slacktide, which has recently annexed the territory surrounding and including this tide pool. I'm here to inform you that you have outstanding taxes that date back at upwards of 10 tides. If you are presently unable to pay this balance, the duchy will claim your home until you- uh, Hold on, uh, I've got some questions. First of all, uh, what's a duchy? Also, taxes? Okay, so basically, the Duchess of Slack Tide owns this whole area now. And she puts a lot of effort into keeping it safe. So, everyone who benefits from that has to abide by her rules and pay up once per tide. There's still plenty of birds here. I don't know if it's really safe. Look, kid, I don't have time to argue political nuances here. I've got a lot of tax evaders to get through. You gotta pay up right now, or I'm gonna have to repo your property. Got it? Okay, okay. I think I've got a hard kelp or two around here somewhere. Oh, my God. Right, move legs, move camera. Right, let's... Options. Options, options, settings. Why did that... Okay, controls, invert Y-axis. That one. Better. Take whatever they are. Found your stash of heart kelp. Everybody loves these delicious heart kelp pods, so they're often used for trading. Eating just one of these makes you feel restored. Acknowledge knowledge. Yes. Roly poly. <clears throat> ah, so they haven't got a voice actor for the entirety of the dialogue, just that little bit. And they've got this stupid blah blah blah. Oh, 
Okay. <coughs> so is this something to do with preservation and removing rubbish from the seas? Is that what we're going for here? Okay, so clean up the beaches or you lose your home. Got it? Got it. All oh, right, you can't actually go under the water. Can't go into any deep parts of the, uh, the ocean or the pools. Uh -huh. Dun, 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 dun. So I've got to, I've got to go to somewhere called the Reef. I didn't notice any any exits. So if I jump into the sea, oh right, okay. So you can't go into small pools, but you can jump into the sea. Right. Of course, if I'm going for somewhere called the reef, chances are... Uh, that's how it works. I have to swim. So if I come here, jump, hold, and then jump and hold i can swim it's like platforming got it got it got it got it right ah and i can climb up right okay so right okay this is all right actually so far bread claw Yes. <clears throat> okay. Microplastics. This is where we're going with in this game. Oh, so we're, we're just going to go down. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, hey, it's another crab. What the fuck? Are these like zombie crabs or something? All right, okay. Well, we'll stay away from them then. Ow, 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 get off! No! 
I do not want any boss battles. Go away. Right, because this person's never been in the ocean before. What's this? Take. Ah, a weapon. Uh huh. Found a rusty fork. So if we do right button, acknowledge knowledge. Right button. Hold RB. Charged attack. Whom? Yeah. I think I played a game like this the other day. Lords of the Fallen. Ooh. Ah. Creating a rather hazardous environment. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, dead crab. Hold down right stick to focus. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Is that going to go away now because I didn't press it? Or is it not going to go away because I didn't press it? Which one? Which one? Bum, ba, 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 bum. Dodging as well. Okay. Ha ha. That showed them. Oop. Heal. A watery grave. I can't heal then. So I is dead. Fool. Right. How come you can't salvage anything off them when they're dead? Take their claws or something, or... No! Now, how do I go about recovering... Ooh. Right, so let's see if I can... It's like a bit Dark Souls-y, isn't it? Recover junk. Junk recovered. Smash the bottle. Right, so... Now then, what's behind you? Okay, some form of currency there. Ah, this is what I saw earlier and I couldn't get to, but I'm... Of course, you can rest here because this is your bonfire in your Sea Souls game. Moon Snail Shell Found. Touch these glowing currents to restore a long forgotten moon snail shell, which you can rest in to restore your health. If you're slain, you receive, you'll revive at the last one you stayed at. So be sure to activate every one you can. All right. Enter. Level up. <laughs> awesome. Microplastics and leveling up. The power present in moon shells, moon snail shells, will allow you to 
purge microplastics from yourself, gaining strength in the process. However, certain folks might be interested in trading for your extra microplastics. So you might want to consider saving some. Acknowledge knowledge. I can. I, I don't have... So I've got to get 300. We'll just click back then because I don't have shell collection. Right, so I can collect shells and it becomes like a shield. That's how I have understood that. And there's that bastard again. Do 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 smash smash and smash let's contribute to the ruin of the sea Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done with reading these things out. It takes longer. And, uh, yeah, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, we're done. Fucking bastard. What the fuck happened there? What was that about? not pick it up then. I wonder if there's some sort of uh... no, never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if there's a shop nearby. <coughs> Would cigarette ends really be stuck in the sand like that? Oh no, the destruction of our ocean. you get what do you actually gain from killing these things then microplastics my microplastics are now 142 so do I pick are these microplastics do I pick these up no that doesn't increase anything all right then now uh, what's this no nope. Some Whoa. All right, so these floaty things. Ooh, pick up. A barb took. Acknowledge. So these cigarette like that. So I'm not picking anything up. I'm not destroying anything. Okay. All righty. All righty. There's obviously some fishing going on. See it? Oh. oh, another one of these fuckers. I can't tell if you... I'll have to look over there. I can't tell if you actually pick up the stuff once you've killed them or... Once you've jumped and gathered stuff that's floating around. Let's have a look. I can increase my vitality, can I? Right. Okay, so let's try and take these out one by one. Here we go. That's it. I have lured you. Oh no! 
I am nearly dead. How do I... I can't eat them. How do I recover my health? If I can't recover my health, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. This is quite a tough little game. Although I do have three lives, it looks like, or three green hearts. I'm assuming that's life, is that right? Oh, grief is a massive thing over there. What's this? Oh, another bloody enemy. Okay, here we go. Ah, the cigarettes make a path towards that guy. But I want to sort of explore. So I, I need to find out how I increase my health. If there's such a way of doing that. What's this? That looks like a boss. I don't particularly want to die just yet. Oh. Over here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to survive all those enemies. Some sort of mob. Oh, I like that. Blocking. Boom. So what would a crab eat normally then in order to survive? I'll just head in this guy's direction because if, they, if it wants me to go this way to follow the guy as part of the story. Oh, hang on. This is where I was on my way out. I spoke to him and he said it's not his problem. Take it up with somebody else. So if I come back here, if I rest, well, it yeah, replenishes my health. And I can't level up because I've only got 232 microplastics. But So what I'll end up doing then is much like Elden Ring and Dark Souls, my way of playing those games, <clears throat> is I'll go out and just farm some of the early, early enemies. And level up that way. Like if these are going to Forty-seven. It doesn't look like I'm collecting anything extra if I jump in the air. Oh, what's this? What's this? A red claw. Dun, dun, dun. Is that really what they're called? I mean, I never knew that. Um, let's have a look over here. Yeah, we'll get him. 
charged attack. Roll it the way. Roll it the way. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit, I fell off the edge. Uh, charged. Roll. Oh, no, I got him. I've got enough to go and get uh, a level up. Let's go and do that. Oh, wait a minute. There's some sort of crystal-y thing up there. When does the combat music start playing? Right. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Let's see if we can... Oh! Excellent. Oh, no! That's not what I wanted. Oh, you fool! Have I, got, have I lost everything and have I got to go back and pick it up? Oh, you twat. I fucking knew it. Right, okay. I have to go and collect my stuff again. Because I'm a fool. All right. I kind of get it. Yeah. Oh, no. This is like Dark Souls of the Sea, some sort of like dark shells or something. I can see my stuff glowing up there. So, provided I survive now, Then I can pick up my stuff I dropped. I can pick that up and have the no. Oh. Cover junk, thank you. Roll out the way, come on. Fuck you. Um, let's go and see if I can. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing, let's go and see if I can finish off this other guy and then get to that crystal. Where's the other guy gone? Over there. Right, okay. That's six crystal bits I've got. It's obviously a form of currency I and I know nothing about just yet, so Okay. Shit. Right, now then, what I noticed when I was there, I saw there was a... Um, where's it gone? There. See that? That looks like it's one of those bonfires that I have to ignite. These currents or whatever they're called. See if I can get there quickly without being attacked. Touch current. So I'll be able to start farming from this location now. Enter. I can't.
can level up now because it's letting me know what increases the amount of health you have. So it's telling me, right, decreases the damage your shell takes. I don't have a shell. Okay, attack, attack damage, plus physical, okay. Umami based attacks, I don't know what that means, okay. So let's just do attack for now. Uh, no, let's do vitality. Confirm. Right. Uh, so that means it should take them a little bit longer to to kill me. Why did the lobster blush? Ah, if you hit it, the joke comes up. He pissed himself. <laughs> Oh no. So I need to get 360 to be able to level up again. Okay. this oh have that you right okay I'm quite enjoying this actually it's it's good fun I like the mechanics behind it because I I've played the other the other games that have similar things that this is kind of you know does that mean that I'm saying it's not original it kind of is can equip this thing in the stats menu okay no shell equipped plastic poncho allow you to walk between previous visited moon snail shells Can I spend that? How do I spend that? Right, okay. I, I don't know if I automatically opened that then. When I thought I would be able to spend it. This is cool. This is like Dark Souls for kids or something. <laughs> or... Oh no. All right, I forgot there's two of them, isn't there? Can you? Right. Dead. What a fool. I thought I was going to be able to jump and power slamming with my fork you got the recycling symbol ah my camera is covering the recycling symbol so if i just do that there was a symbol that came up on the screen to do with recycling 
which is what I'm assuming this game is kind of pushing. Recycle your stuff. Don't throw it in the sea, which is okay. You know, we, we kind of know it now. I get it. There could be a lot more done. But it isn't exactly throw it, ramming it down your throat either, you know? It's, it's just sort of subtly there-ish. Barbed hook. I can't remember what the barbed hook was for. Oh, there's looks like there's something up there. Like a hidden area or something, or... So when you do that, you have a limited amount of, sort of stamina or whatever you call it to be able to swim like that. No, I can't get back that way. But, ooh. Let's have a look at the castle. See if we have to talk to anybody or if we get... Ooh. Fuck you. See if we get to talk to anybody or whether or not I get sent away. Looks like I'm going to... Fault, trespasser. All right, okay. So you have to get dressed in order to go in. Okay. I could get something to wear in the charity centre. Right, okay. So the choice I've got now is to acquire these microplastics in order to... Uh, you know, level up my character or spend them in a charity shop and buy stuff. Let's have a look. Pick up. Red Claw. I mean, these things are pretty easy once I say that I'm about to die or something now. Um, Pretty easy if you can kind of attack them without you seeing them, and you could do a powered, like a charged attack. They see me. Yeah. And bang. Now, didn't he? S There's a map over here. Is that where the charity shop is? What I'm going to assume is by going this way, I can bypass that person. Oh, what happened there? Oh, it might have been that plant caused me to have an injury. Right. Oh, is this the one? There's an entire Coke machine under the sea. It's actually powered on. You can hear it. Oh. 
soda can. Where shall? Where shall? Are they all? They're all defense 50. I can wear a can as a shell. <laughs> Now I get in to see the Duchess. Right, okay, so it's not a charity shop at all. It's a Coke machine. Right. Ah, right, okay. Floor solve, floor breaker. Oh, crab. I'm sorry. Was I supposed to grab a ticket? You think yourself above the law, but the law is not so easily outwitted. By its strength alone, do we rise above the beasts. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'll go to the back of the line, okay? <laughs> you should be so lucky. I'll have your head like I have these other worthless law breakers. Right, boss fight. Brilliant, thanks for that. Just what I fucking needed. Okay, here we go. Your filthy soul is destined for the drain. Really? Yes, I would like to respawn at the nearest moon jelly location. Have a junk. Thank you. Now then, what happened to all those Coke cans? Push button. Let's get another Coke can. Let's get the fuck out of here now because I don't want to do another boss battle. Floor soul, floor breaker. Skip. Oh, it's, it's got a boss arena. Your oh, fuck. Right, this is going to take me a while. So, I think for the video's sake... This might be where I stop. I'll see if I can get out of the area without taking a can. Let's go and see where he comes from, actually. Pick up. Captain, I can change costumes in the status menu. Captain, the long claw of the law. Okay. Uh, what's this? What's this? Did you hear about the crab that went to the gym? You pulled a muscle. Right. Can't get up there. So in order for me to... Go and see this person, the Queen. I have to go and fight a boss battle after picking up a can. 
because I can't seem to get out of the area otherwise. Uh, ah, is this like a race or something? I can't work out. Right, I'm considering myself very lucky here. With battling those. And it didn't look like I took any uh, health loss. Now what the fuck is that? Oh shit, not that. I'm looking at a very, looks what looks like a very violent crab with funny eyes. something behind it. Now that looks like it's... Oh, bollocks. Oh, shit. Okay. So I'm going to have to go back there now and try fucking fight all those. Now where's my stuff? That's where he is. Where's the stuff I drop now? I can't work out where I've got to go back to. Ah, is it over there? It looks like there's a, a light in the distance. And provided I can fend off these things and pick up my stuff. Thank you. Oh, no, it's not. I'm going to lose all my stuff. I'm going to lose all my stuff. Fuck. Right. Barbed hook. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Do I cut my losses? Because there were a lot of fucking enemies by you, weren't there? I suppose I don't get anything if I don't... If I... If I'm going to decide, fuck, to cut my losses, then I've lost already, haven't I? I've lost the stuff already, so it doesn't matter. So I may as well just try and go and get it. lost it. I knew it. Although, what I don't know is whether or not my stuff stays there. Is my stuff going to stay there until I retrieve it? 
or does it you know like Dark Souls and Elden Ring and what have you does it disappear does it disappear for good fuck off you Fuck off you. Now, this lot has stayed here. Because that's what I just... That's as far as I got. But the other... No, the other stuff is gone. Look. Okay. Right. There be farming to do. I need to get this character up to a certain level now. Whereby... I can take on these individuals... And make it a breeze. When you lose all your stuff, it's quite freeing. Because it means that you can just go and explore them. Because you've lost everything. It doesn't matter. You've got nothing else to lose. Right. Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum. Okay. So let's let's round this up then. Let's let's finish this video off. Uh, I I'm actually really enjoying this. Out of the three games I've played this morning, now this has been the the most interesting, the most fun. Um, provided it doesn't have too much environmental stuff uh, crammed down my throat you know I'm okay with that let's go back to this area oh that's right was I so was I able to traverse between bonfires shall we say I can't level up because I don't have any microplastics because I fucking lost them because I'm a fool. But can I, by using the map? I have, I don't seem to have any. Uh, let's just save the game for now. Like this right here. I've got six crystals and there's five there. How do I... Like, I can do that, but I don't seem to be choosing anything. Choosing the option of travelling. So where... Alright, okay. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm liking it. The music is nice and sweet and, you know, as you kind of expect for these games. Uh, which, it, which seem to be... I mean, I've, you know, I'm not going to say that the game is aimed for kids. Because, you know, what am I now? 53. Maybe, you know, some might say child at heart. Yeah, I mean, I've always liked video games since the very first time I got taken to an arcade and knew that I could control the stuff on the screen. Right, what is this? Royal Shell Splitter. Oh, God. Oh, 
balance and capsize. Hitting an enemy with enough attacks to max out their balance meter will open them up to be capsized. When their health buff starts flashing, hit them with a powerful attack, such as a charged attack, to knock them down for several seconds. Okay. Oh no! Crushed to death! Um, fucking hell, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, well, I'll do that. It's, uh... Is this, now is this a boss where it creates a boss area that I can't get out of? Or can I sneak past by going all the way around or will it automatically see me oh it doesn't lead to anywhere anyway I thought perhaps it ah what was that oh that's just bad clipping is it right okay yeah it's not it's not leading to anywhere really there's no hidden treasure or anything behind you so it's just like a boss that an optional boss so when defeated oh shit exploits you can use like in Elden Ring where you jump on top of a building and the horse the knight on the horse can't reach you you aim at something that wasn't balls okay yeah I'm quite enjoying this I'm actually gonna play this I think I think I'm gonna play this again like all the other games and I've, and I've said before in the past if you've ever watched any of my stuff which is doubtful nobody's even gonna be watching this now so yeah it's the kind of thing where I'll play it until I get bored. Some games, I think sometimes they just reach a sort of certain level where they just become tedious. It's quite rare for a game to not become tedious, uh, to me at least anyway. Like Elden Ring didn't become tedious. Some of the Dark Souls games did come a bit, become a bit tedious. Uh, Lies of P became quite tedious. I didn't 
enjoy that that much and I actually gave up on it but this it's a fun little thing to sort of play for a while I think did I just fucking die again oh my god oh I forgot to go to the other one Right. Let me just double check something. There's definitely, well, there's nothing I can see on the map. Where it shows me where I've lost my coins or microplastics, that's it. Oh, it's I'm sure it was by here though, wasn't it? Oh, I gotta focus in order to do that, haven't I? That's better, thank you. I'm sure it was by here though, where I lost my stuff. Oh, it was the second, you're right, okay, it was the second one, it was over there, where the other crab will come out. Oh, so that's, the arrow is me and the white is where I've dropped my stuff. So if I pick this up now, and then bring the map up it's got right so it is it is on there okay and have it you how do you get up there you can't. There must be something whereby you get the ability to boost yourself. Higher up. Okay, here it comes. And off it goes. Okay, where? Where did that crab go? There was a crab. Oh, there it is. Can we pick this up by right here? What is this? Harvest oh, harp kelp. Right. I need to flee a second. I need to find that other shell that you can rest in. Here it is, is it? Yeah. Let's just do that. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop it now because I'm just going to keep playing. Last game of the day. Thank God it's something that's actually worth playing. Wow. The other ones are just utter shit. I'm enjoying this. It's a cutesy kind of... But it, it's a cutesy game. It looks like the same for kids, but it really fucking isn't. Uh, it's quite difficult. And that's what's hooked me. That's what's got me in. It's the fact that I've got to fucking... I've got to do this. I've got to... I've got to level up. I've got to beat that thing. I've got to... Blah, 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 blah. So on and so forth. That is uh, a good little find. Yeah. That game. Right. I'm going to continue playing this, so that means the video is going to end, and I'm going to say goodbye. So, goodbye.